A girl, after being underground all her life, decides to go to the surface to save her father, although she fades away, reveals it's full of mutants and people. But to understand how they got here, let's see what happened before. This story begins in a very calm world where the news reports that things are happening worldwide that put everything at risk. At this moment, devices start falling in the city causing everyone to isolate, which triggers the story, because after this, a company named Poltec, who had many buried shelters, which very few survived. 219 years pass, and all humans live underground where we meet a girl named Lucy who exists in the past. She runs to be a candidate in a wedding, so upon being accepted, they meet with others from Shelter 32 to meet their future husband. While at the celebration, Lucy's father comments that very soon their grandchildren will be able to go to the surface to reclaim the land. However, they realize they were tricked as they are surface raiders and take many down. Luckily, Lucy manages to save herself but realizes her father is taken. While she notices those who remained do not want to go out to look for him, so she manages to go out to the surface on her own. On the other hand, we know a boy named Maximus is on the side of the local authorities, called the Brotherhood, where there are special combat suits. But the bad thing is that Max is treated unfairly and is blamed for some things. Luckily, he proves his innocence and is accepted as a squire by one of the agents who wears a robot suit. On the other hand, some men unearth someone who had been underground for a long time, named Howard, better known as the Code. Google, seeing they are not the partners it wants, sends them to the beyond. The second act begins with a laboratory where they manage to create a dog resistant to the outside effects, but as a doctor, he gets into trouble when he hides it and has to flee his base. Returning with Lucy to camp at night and encounter the monster with the doctor and his dog, named Meatball, where they tell her it's no place for her, as it's very different, but there is, and insists on looking for her father, plus the dog helps her against a mutant cockroach. In the morning, Max follows people aiming to find the doctor, but they encounter a mutant bear where people in the robot have the is blamed and taken down by the bear. Luckily, Maximus knocks him down, but the agent tells him he'll blame everything on him, so Maximus doesn't help him and keeps the suit to make things right. Coming back with Lucy, she realizes that everyone advises her to go back home. She even runs into the doctor again, but they don't have time for anything as Ghoul appears wanting to capture the doctor for his reward, so it knocks down many in the place. It's that Lucy wants to help him but only gets into trouble with Ghoul. Luckily, Maximus arrives in his suit to cover her, asking her to take care of the doctor while he deals with Ghoul. While Lucy finds out the man needs to be taken to the raiders, she volunteers to take him and gets closer to her father. At the same time, Max loses to Ghoul and ends up far away, so the latter helps the dog recover and keeps it. Meanwhile, the doctor can't take it anymore and ends up on the floor, where he asks Lucy that it's important to take his head to the leader of the raiders named Moldaver, so she considers doing it for her father. On the other hand, we recall Ghoul, who worked as an actor and had a family, but in the present, he continues his journey with the dog. Going back to Maximus, he fixes his suit but realizes he's being sent a new squire, so he has to pretend to be the agent, while finding out that the first to reach the goal will be promoted to the opposite. At the same time, Lucy loses her head to a monster. At this moment, Cool catches up to her and realizes what has happened, so he uses Lucy as bait to lure the creature, but it fails and they escape. So Cool takes Lucy and the meatball waits for the doctor. After a while, Maximus arrives, who along with his squire managed to make the creature throw up what it had for lunch, so they get the head. We notice Gold dislikes Voltec, but in a memory we see that he worked for them in the past and even inspired their logo. Later, Ko finds another like him, who doesn't have much time left, so he brings it down to have something to eat. 
Later, he sells Lucy in exchange for some substances, which help him stay on his feet, but it seems he doesn't have much time left. On the other hand, Lucy's brother finds out that others from Shelter 32 were taken down long before the raiders came. They discover that Lucy's mother was the one who opened the gates for the looters from the outside. Meanwhile, Lucy realizes they want to disassemble her to use parts of her as spare parts for other humans, but manages to break free, so he releases the others. There's more like a girl, but these are out of control and they have to take them down. Then he goes outside and gives Ghoul the medicine he needed, showing him he's not like him. Turning back to Maximus, he decides to trust his squire and confesses the truth, but upon realizing the squire takes the battery from his suit and leaves. At dawn, Lucy finds Max, so she helps him out of his suit, who join together to go look for the head, as she believes Maximus will bring more suits to look for her father. Then they go on their way and encounter some dangers, as there are many villains everywhere, where Max makes her realize they can't trust anyone. Lucy sees that Maximus is injured, so she tries to find something to help him, but both end up trapped. On the other hand, in Lucy's shelter, the brother sees they will move to 32, but realizes they hid everything he saw before, something sweet they're trying to hide. Meanwhile, Lucy and Max wake up, where she tells him they are in a shelter, so she lets him know they are safe for now. Right now we see a memory from the past, where Ghoul was promoting the shelters as there was only a bit of life left. A few will have access to them if necessary. Currently, Go realizes he fell asleep, but the bad thing is he notices some sheriffs catching him as they blame him for what happened there. On the other hand, Lucy and Max see that the shelter is full of mutants, and they also notice that it seems they want to keep them locked up. Going back to Cole, he manages to escape, while mentioning he knew Moldaver, but she's not as he remembers. At the same time, if he sees that the place is like some kind of cult where they worship Moldaver, so he tries to warn Maximus but he is getting used to the place and does not believe him. So he goes out to look for evidence and discovers that they are being used as incubators for creatures. At this moment they discover her so they capture her, while Maximus is completely unaware. In a memory of Gaul, he met with Moldavar before everything, where she was against Voltec and gave her word to Mordor. In the present, they show Lucy what she saw, which is a thing of the past since they no longer conduct those experiments. However, they gave her the worst sentence, which is to send her to the surface, while Max realizing this steals his battery to reactivate his robot and save her, resulting in both being thrown out to the surface, where Lucy makes it up to him by returning the battery, because they need it at this shelter. Meanwhile, the square traps the meatball to continue his journey and deliver the head where discovers a doctor and gives him Max's suit battery in exchange for healing him, which he does with a strange antidote that makes him regenerate, while Gould is on his tail and manages to rescue Meatball. On the other hand, Lucy and Max find the squire who falls into a trap, but they realize he can regenerate, so Max tells him he has become a ghoul. So he hands over the head and decides to flee. But the bad thing is that they're about to arrive over your head, so is that the triste patanti? Max plans to give them a fake and asks Lucy to run away with the real one, where they say goodbye passionately before parting. Meanwhile, Lucy's brother learned that from Shelter 31, they control both 32 and 33, so he manages to deceive them and get in, where he discovers something shocking, but we don't get to see what it is. After a while, Maximus arrives at his base and delivers the head, but they realize it's not the real one. Yet seeing his courage and how far he's come, they ask Maximus to deliver it to his base. They ask him to guide them to find it and they will promote him so he can build his future. Meanwhile, Lucy delivers the real head at the Moldaver's base, where she realizes her father is. While Moldaver removes the infinite energy battery the doctor brought, he also says he'll share his father's past with him. At this moment, we see more memories of Ghoul, who found out his wife and those from Voltec planned the shelters, where they would experiment and see how to survive, so they can send the devices themselves and take over the planet. As we reach the scene we've been waiting for the whole series, Moldaver tells Lucy the same thing, and that his father is one of the top executives, 
also that he knocked down his mother for having discovered everything. Moreover, we see that Lucy's brother finds that in Shelter 31 there is only a robot who monitors and wakes up the first executives who will be in charge until they can safely leave the surface. The third act starts with Max and the Brotherhood arriving at the Raiders base leading to a confrontation while Lucy's dad tells her he did it all for the sake of humanity since they always end up destroying each other. So at the peak of tension, the robotic suits were dominating the ground. But along comes Cole, who with the help of the robotic suits reaches the peak of tension. But Gaul with the robotic suits aid reaches the peak of tension. He knows their weak spots and starts taking them down. Then Max comes with Lucy and frees her father. But she tells him that he destroyed the city where her mother was just there. Max lost his family, but the father dons a robotic suit and takes down Max before he can reveal himself. Fortunately, Gould arrives, who comes down the father and asks him for information about where his family is, but he ends up escaping. Lucy sees Max won't wake up, so she decides to go with Gold to find the creators of this mess. In the final resolution, we see Mac wake up and discover Moldaver activating infinite energy for the whole city with which they plan to make a better future for themselves. With his last breath, he tells Max that their leaders will use that energy for dark purposes, so he asks him to think about it and try to prevent it. Right now, their friends arrive and think Max knocked down the leader. This was the summary of the Fallout series on Amazon Prime. If you liked the video, please leave a like and comment. Take care, see you later.